To build a fire in weather too cold and wet to describe, to nurture it from spark with clumsy frozen hands until the spindly fibers of flame can grow for themselves. This is the impossibility of time. And yet, it is what we do. Because time has had all of time in which to do it, to make us. With such a miracle, it's easy to forget that the left-hand side of the bell curve is there at all. Technology springs to life with images and clanging sounds showing us that everyone who plays at the casino wins big, wins beyond their dreams, wins beyond knowing what to do with it all. And yet, it is there. The left-hand side of the bell curve, the Greyhound bus, one-way ticket to Palookaville. That is the far more likely outcome when there are no clocks and there is no sense of proportion. Crooked Donald repeats the mantra of Crooked Hillary over and over and over and over, following the recipe, if it worked for Hitler, if it worked for Goebbels, why wouldn't it work here as well? We have the very same left-hand side of the bell curve. Now, we want Krishna. We really do. But Shiva has unlimited corporate funding. She shoots caribou from a helicopter with a high-caliber rifle and then walks the red carpet to her G5 jet. Such is the mindless binge that unwinds eons of karmic development. For every miracle of fire on the frozen tundra, there are piles and piles of winter's bones, enough to make us all want to understand something about the left-hand side of the bell curve. What would others say across the Milky Way? Is there another George Armstrong Custer currently raiding the Virgo supercluster? And who is there to see you? in the great Lanaya Kia that looks down on the Milky Way like a grain of sand. While we cannot regulate our dose, perhaps we should not get too close to the great attractor. Perhaps it would be best not to broadcast the rest of the Republican Convention into outer space. A little discretion, please, before some distant predator sees how easily we are manipulated. Or perhaps it is not the distant ones that we should fear. Perhaps our greater enemies are near. I think they're already here. They are the ones who have the nerve, who have the means and the prefab scenes to move the strong emotions, to send missiles across the oceans. They ride the top and they think they deserve to manipulate both sides of the great bell curve. Thank you.